How dare you? What's wrong? Fuck you. Fuck you. This was a tooth harassed by metals. A lot of metals. And hazelnuts. I cracked the edge of my left buck tooth eating hazelnuts. With a shell, of course. I thought it was edible. But that's not the main reason. There's no way I'm giving you my tooth. There's no need to get so worked up. We'll end up with it someday. But this is a tooth I write with. You know what? I was thinking the other day. I kind of want to paint my teeth black. All black. And see what kind of words or lines would come out. Maybe a secret I never knew I owned. Maybe the names of the dicks I never remembered. Or a bit down on. Sure, you want to see my feet? If it doesn't mean anything to you. Of course they mean something to me. How did you break it? Oh, it was unconventional. Sixth grade. It was a seventh period. <laughs> Sixth grade. It was seventh period at school. There was a strict no bathroom break policy during class time, and I hadn't had a chance to go during lunch. I wished so bad in that moment that I only had to pee. I asked the teacher so many times, feeling it pull up. The period ended. The bell rang. I had to go. I really thought I could make it before anyone noticed, but I tripped on the leg of the desk that was nailed to the floor and I slammed to the ground, snapping my ankle in four places. There was blood everywhere. My period, my period blood. Period blood was everywhere. Is that a hickey? No. It looks like a hickey. It's a bruise, I tripped. On your neck? Did you ask for it? Who asked for a hickey? Did you want one? Always. I usually don't like them. It's not sexy for adults to have hickeys. And on my Adam's apple? Who the fuck does that? But it started to feel sexy. Whisking it. To be sucked at in the center of my throat. Like he was a little leech. A sexy leech. A little hot leech. Is this funny to you? Let's move on. Of course. You're so comfortable sharing. Sam is more comfortable telling. I'm not telling the truth. Are you telling the truth? Of course I am. So what happened here? I had chicken pox in primary school and couldn't stop itching. So this became my first time being tied up during the day. I was 12, oh, 13. I wore these gloves so I wouldn't scratch the poxy woxies. But, but I still, still managed a way to sneak my little sausages around. I reached those itches. I would thrash and dance around in the mattress, rubbing around all night. Is it contagious? No. Can I help you? Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Sam. How long have you been there? Do you trust me? That doesn't even make sense. I want to tell you a story. What? You won't want to hear it. What makes you think that? Well, first of all, I, I've i never told it to anyone. So it's a secret. I guess so. Well, why do you want to tell me? It's not about you, Sam. I just need to tell it. Okay. 
to tell it. Okay. Okay. When I was young, my grandma told me about the Chen family secret. You put your index finger on the upper butthole. Sam, you cannot tell anybody about this. Upper butthole? Isn't that- do you mean your tailbone? Yeah, 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 tailbone, sure. My grandma held my hand really tight and told me, Cynthia, this is the Chen family secret. So what is it? Okay, let me tell you. Below the bone, right above the butthole. Your tailbone? The upper yeah. butthole. You put your index finger on it and press really, really hard. And then you're gonna forget the last 10 minutes. What does that mean, forget the last 10 minutes? No matter how painful they've been, your brain is gonna forget the last 10 minutes. But your body remembers. Who cares? <laughs>